and scrambling up the slope. Porter's numbers there are at least equal to those of the attackers. With even the best infantrymen able to get off no more than three rounds a minute, the exhausted defenders cannot fire fast enough to halt the swift advance. The Federals in the first line panic, turn, and flee, and in the rush to the rear block the fire of the troops in the second line, carrying those defenders along with them. As a blue tide surges towards the crest of Turkey Hill, Confederate infantrymen stop the fire at last. One volley was poured into their backs, and it seemed as if every ball found a victim. So great was the slaughter, wrote a Texan. With a breach finally accomplished in the Federal Center, Porter's left and right flanks crumble as Longstreet and Jackson widen the rupture in both directions. On Jackson's left, Ewell and D.H. Hill outflank Sykes' regulars, forcing them to fall back. 